How's it going everybody? I'm the Redhead Gamer and welcome to my guide on how to unlock skins in Back for Blood. Now, one of the things I think we can all agree upon is that customization in any video game is just super cool. I mean, don't you like looking nice when you're mowing down hordes of Ridden or destroying newbies in PvP? Well, don't worry my friends, because unlike its predecessor, the spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead, Back for Blood allows you to customize your character with skins you can unlock in the game. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do I unlock skins in Back for Blood Red? Well, it starts with leveling up your supply line, which you can easily do by going to the supply line NPC. As you see right here in front of us, uh, she's just kind of chilling here near the truck in the compound. Just go over, press E, and bada bing, bada boom. You have all your stuff right here. Now, in order to level up your supply line, you're going to need supply points, which you can tell are up here. After looking at this, you can see I have 28, which ain't a lot, by the way. I'm broke because I just leveled up one of the little tiers here. But in order to level up your supply line, you're going to have to get points, which you can easily get by completing campaign or swarm mode sessions. And after each session, you'll be awarded with some supply points, uh, completing challenges, and more. But do note, this is really important by the way, so make sure you take a note of this. You need to be playing in multiplayer to do so. Solo campaign isn't going to award you with any supply points, that's just how they designed it. Please don't shoot the messenger, trust me. After you've collected supply points, simply go to your supply line and begin leveling up the lines. So for example, if we look at Bridgetown right here, uh, just start buying up the line and eventually you'll find cosmetic pieces like these pair of pants right here for Hoffman. And once you have them, all you have to do is go to the cleaner section and find said item and bada bing bada boom, you would be a-okay to equip it. I haven't unlocked anything at the moment though because I've been super lazy, but I found out the process through some friends of mine so I thought I'd let you all know. And uh, you know, while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and look at some of the skins just starting with Evangelo here. Uh, just looking at the outfits they got for him. We, well, the items first. We got like the total apocalypse. This facial cosmetic is pretty basic, but I mean, come on, it, it looks awesome. The guy is wearing some skeletal face paint. That's how you know this guy is going to whip some ridden right in the shape. Uh, we also have the basic, which is essentially just a t-shirt. I guess that's something you could wear while you're mowing down hordes of red, and you want to look fancy while you're doing so. The hot and cold is another t-shirt, which looks pretty basic. Definitely nice. I guess it depends on your personal preference. Uh, the digital camo, once again, a nice basic t-shirt. Army camo, for those of you who want to like really live up to the whole special ops lifestyle that you're living in this world. Uh, the Bengal sports which is just a kind of looks like a jersey uh total apocalypse now this is where we start getting a little wild this is starting to get into like some steampunk-esque uh post-apocalyptic sort of mayhem right here uh he's got a little knife around his neck that's kind of cool definitely looks pretty damn awesome even by itself uh basic once again just a pair of jeans canvas slack sack is just kind of a bunch of khakis charcoal black jeans blood soaked red jeans and of course total apocalypse once again takes it to the next level with like some armored pants i can only imagine like a full-on total apocalypse evangelo here that'd look pretty awesome now moving on the walker it looks like we have Trail of Blood here, which is kind of like a red shirt, camo pants outfit. Kind of basic in my opinion. This one's a little cooler, definitely gives him some armor and he looks like he's ready to go into a war zone. And then you have SWAT, or SWAT, with a Z. Definitely pretty cool looking. Speaking of which, I think I skipped Evangelos here. If you look at these, Murder in the Dark's pretty Pretty basic, just a red jacket really. Battle hardened once again, just armored up. He has some goggles though, which are kind of funky looking, but cool to look at. And SWAT, the one thing I like about his is that he has like a mask piece. I don't know what it is, but masks are just super cool. 
Kind of wish the uh, eyepiece was down over his eyes though. That'd look really cool. But overall, I like all of these. Holly, just looking at what she has. A uh, basic t-shirt. They all kind of seem to have like a basic white t-shirt. She's wearing like a bandana over her face or a face covering. Uh, softball star, kind of a jersey. Death's head, which is kind of fancy. Got a little moth there with a skeleton on it. Skull, excuse me. Tie-dye, hippie-ish. If you want to look cool, I guess, while you're bashing ridden in the head with a bat spread the love as they say and of course the total apocalypse once again fully armored ready to go in the battle uh basic just kind of basic kind of camo oh that's that's so boring though i feel like a lot of these skins are just like super basic with the way they look and i understand the game just came out but i mean come on man come on we need more cosmetics that like change to look of the cleaner more instead of just you know oh this is just like a simple reskin of what they already have neon once again kind of just a different color i'll live that's just ugly lordy lube ugly green like a grayish black no thank you and then total apocalypse the creme la creme of the entire sets this one and SWAT, I think, are like what makes it for all these characters. But yeah, there you go. That's Holly. Mom! Let's see. Traditional red. Another red bandana. Hot-headed. Uh, fiery bandana. Stars and stripes. Gotta go full-on American flag when you're whooping ridden. And Total Apocalypse. Uh, this one... It looks like she's wearing a top mask here. Or she's like, I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be like a mask she's wearing? Whatever the case is, I guess to each their own. Yeah, bleached, gangrene. I'll, I'll stay on them a little longer. Don't mean to skip through them, it's just meh. Some of these just aren't really catching my eye. I don't know about the rest of you. American made. Hardy, Jameson, Cougars. <laughs> okay, nice joke there. And yeah, the typical post-apocalyptic meme we got going on here. Looks like hers was just kind of thrown together with some football pads and some other things they could find about. Got some basics, some blue jeans. Total Apocalypse rock and rolling once again. And yeah, now we're moving on to Doc here. Doc is kind of interesting. Mostly because uh, she gets different shades for what they're worth. And then her Total Apocalypse look just like completely changes her head, which is nice. Looking really sick with that getup. Got the whole gear going there. All her instruments are just attached to her little bandolier. Don't die. <laughs> Funny joke. Gotta love it when the game decides to do things like that. Pink. Okay, a pug. Pugs, man. Pug pink. Beautiful. Would totally wear in the battle. 10 out of 10. Don't even care. Judge me, chat. Judge me. Basic jeans. Fresh scrubs, kind of like a teal color, grayish. And yeah, more, more good stuff there. Oh, speaking of which, let's go to outfits. Original, clinical killer, SWAT. Bada bing, bada boom. This one looks kind of cool. I really like how the purple and the blue and the black mix together. Looks really nice, in my personal opinion. Did I even look at mom's outfits? I did not. Wow. Look at me. Look at me, everybody. I'm already failing you. Forgive me. SWAT's kind of basic, honestly. Battle hardened, though. This one's kind of cool. <laughs> she looks like an old, gruff soldier in this outfit kind of like it S 
Why on Hoffman just looks overly crazy. The man looks like a total tank wearing this outfit. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this. I love how they spell SWAT with a Z, by the way. I don't know if that's supposed to be a zombie joke or what the getup is, but there it is. Prepper Blues. He's got a little gas mask going on there. Looks like he's a little cut on the arm, too. Must be from all that barricading he's been doing. Ruby specs, navy specs, black shades, total apocalypse. He got, he has a beard in this one, which looks pretty nice. Definitely looks like an operator now because of that. Navy tartan, kind of like a plaid button up shirt, nothing too fancy. This one's just ugly. <laughs> what is this? Test students? Lordy Lou, this looks like something your grandpa would wear, am I right? This one's kind of cool. Pineapple skulls? I'd wear this. And then Total Apocalypse looks like a uh, Air Force jacket with some spikes on it. Pretty dope. Total Apocalypse. It's just jeans with some stuff on it. What is that belt buckle? Is that a hatchet? No, that's like an eagle. Or like a hy wolf or hyena. I can't really tell from where I'm sitting. Forgive me. I'm blind as a bat. Par 4. Some nice little plaid pants. Some jeans. And some more jeans. Alright. Now moving on the gym, let's see what he has here. He has like a hood, which is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, ranger of Gondor or something with the way he has that going on. A basic t-shirt, a, uh, <laughs> a hunting vest, don't shoot me Jagoff. Gotta wear that bright orange to make sure that your teammates don't friendly fire you in the field. It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Eight points. This is really nice. I like the antlers. It's a pretty decent shirt. And then, yeah, of course, you mix this with the hood. Look, totally awesome. Real, real good. Uh, basic, more basic pants. Get it done. It's just some gray bloodstained pants. Earthly is just kind of, yeah, darker pants. Total Apocalypse, add some spikes, some boots. Good deal. So let's look at his outfit here. Backwoods Blaze. Looks like he's ready to go on a hunting trip, honestly. He has the backpack and everything. Like he's gonna strap himself to a tree and just start shooting at deer. And his SWAT. He, he looks like that guy from uh, Medal of Honor. I can't remember his name right now, but doesn't he? He looks like the Medal of Honor operator for like the old 360. And then last but not least, we have Carly coming up. Hers might be interesting. It looks like they dye her hair different colors. Life's a bleach. Feeling blue. Pink rock. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, oh man, and they turn her into like Darth Maul with the last one. She gets like spikes for hair and gets an eye patch, which is kind of cool. Looks like a Zabrak, if that's how you pronounce it. Forgive me, my Star Wars knowledge is failing me today. Lavender, nice little top there they got going on. Kick drum is pretty cool. I like the skull. Definitely brings out that metalish vibe that she got going on. I can't even see what her arm tattoo is there. Looks like a triangle of some sort. And then uh, some flowers and I don't even know what's on her inner arm there. It'd be interesting to see, but it's a little dark, unfortunately. Hot pink, just like a pink version of her hoodie. And then, of course, we got the Total Apocalypse outfit coming in. Looks like a nice little vest with some spikes. A 
machete or no that's a knife attached to the bag with some skulls and some other dope things on it that's kind of cool and then looking at pants we got the acid wash which is just gray pants genuine pleather aka leather pants very shiny and the total apocalypse right there bringing in the spikes and shining like the big dog it is uh, looking at outfits punk's not dead this one's kind of cool because it just red and black's just a nice combination and it just looks super different from what she normally has and then you got the SWAT one which just turns her into a official looking cleaner that's how you know it's about to go down and I guess there you have it folks that's how you unlock skins and a little bit of a review of all the skins so Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and leave a comment about what you'd like to see next as a tutorial video or a guide video. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Really appreciate it. Anyway, y'all, until next time, thanks for watching. I'm the Redhead Gamer signing out. And uh, don't forget to mow down hordes of Ridden for me, fam. Until next time, peace.